What do you know about the Nikolai Ninja case? Absolutely nothing. Um, I know really know nothing about it. Uh, not much. I, um... Mr. Dix, uh, what do you know about the Nikolai Ninja case? I don't know anything, actually, about the Nikolai Ninja case. When you guys started this journey, uh, it was the first I had ever heard of anything. How is it that a case that broke national news has become forgotten where the very crime took place? When you look up Nicolay High School in the Urban Dictionary, this event even shows up in the definition. But was this crime not as defining as we had thought? On the 12 year anniversary of an event that once shook this school to its very core, another fellow video student and I decided to bring this historic case back to life. So the Nicolay Woods is a five acre piece of property that was um, certified now as a school state forest through the Department of Natural Resources. It is located to the west of the practice field, so we call that the back of the school. And it starts uh, at the environmental center and then goes to the river. As you walk out to the building, there's the environmental center and there is a gate that goes across it. Um, from the two private properties that sit on either end, it is open to them. So if you were to somehow get into those properties, you could get into our woods. We also have a trail camera that we have set up out there through the DNR, and I bring that in and we check the pictures periodically to see what kind of wildlife is out there. I do catch dogs on the camera quite often and humans that I don't recognize. There's a lot that goes on back there for sure. The biggest thing that I recall in 2009-10 is we were kind of actually transitioning with losing some student enrollment and at least amongst the staff in the math department, like we had lost a member the year before, we were going to lose a member in 2009. My first year here was 2008-2009, pretty clear in my memory. I can remember all of those students from those years. It's subsequent years that have gotten messy. I was a student from um, 2009 until 2013 here. It, I would say like the student body, like it was still the same kind of like, you know, diversity and things like that. But um, I think things have uh, changed a little bit in terms of like, you know, a whole different administration is here now. Um, but yeah, no, I actually think a lot of Nicolay was the same. In fact, like some of my teachers that I had are still here, so. You know, apart from the fact that there was an intruder in the woods. Really, I don't remember us being given that much information. You know, it's it was pretty, we didn't, we didn't hear a lot. When I taught at MPS, we always knew everything. Like all the details were out within five minutes because they generally thought they had to tell us. But here I did, I don't remember much. I just remember what I got from the kids. I feel like the students knew more than I knew. You know, I think they like to make a bigger deal about, oh, he could be in the woods at any time, you know. I, th I think they liked playing it up more than they were actually concerned about it. Oh my God, it was a huge deal. I think like we, the, my, at least my class, like the people that it happened to, we, oh my God, we talked about it all the time. And then when it went on national news, like it was like, I don't know, I, I don't want to say we felt cool, but it was like, oh, you know, we're getting like recognized for something, but it was so bizarre that it was happening, that's for sure. Yeah, the ninja always made like little appearances here and there mostly by like the back fields there. Like I know I can remember one specific time when um, we were playing soccer back there, we were just pad practice and we were just, you know, doing a scrimmage or something and all of a sudden the ninja came like running out of the woods, like full sprint, full gear. He was in all black um, and you could really only see his eyes. He had like the slit just from his eyes right there. And we were all really confused. So he just kind of like went off to the side, but yeah, he had a, a knife, or like a, I don't know if it was a real sword, but he had a sword in his hand and he was like doing moves <laughs> and stuff with it. Um, but that was like the only time I really like saw him close enough to kind of like see what he was wearing and everything. I 
I know that it was somebody from the community, but what I know from outside is that there was somebody dressed in black with a sword who was chasing students in the woods. That's what I know. Um, but what happened? Oh, the melodrama. The day before the attack, two girls ventured into the woods after school hours when they were confronted by a boy dressed in all black with a mask. He appeared to be posed as a ninja. The boy was armed with a machete concealed in a sheath behind his back and a bow and arrow aimed directly at the girls. He warned them that he was protecting the woods and his property from kids like them. The two girls later informed some boys of this incident. I think they just wanted to kind of like see what was going on, see if it was actually true. Um, I think people didn't believe it until they actually saw like this person in this full getup. Um, but yeah, I really think that's the only reason why they went back there. The following day, a freshman boy was slashed with that same machete. His friends found him bloody, with a 2.5 inch wide gash on his forehead. So from what I know, so the person who got attacked by the ninja um, was in my grade. And what happened was, I believe him and another friend of his were like in the woods. I don't know exactly what they were doing, but um, I guess they were on the ninja's property, according to the ninja. I just know it was a pretty big gash, and he ran over to the athletic entrance, and there was like blood all over his face, and it was really bad. So suddenly we had this lockdown, and no one knew why. And we all had to shelter in place, and my kids were crying in the corner of the room. But for those several minutes, I don't know that I've ever seen more frightened people. And so immediately, everybody had their phones out under the desk because you weren't supposed to have them out at that point. But I had a student whose dad was on the police force and so she was giving us live updates. Dad says there's a ninja. Dad says don't go outside. Dad says and um, it was pretty uh, pretty intense and it was freshman. So if you can imagine a freshman class um, with all the excitement that that entails and I was stuck in there for an hour and a half. I don't think that event changed the culture here as much as it was maybe a, like a microcosm of some national events that happened. There were other things that I think changed the culture in the school. We had a death of a student my first year that I was teaching, which was a really, really sad tragedy. She was in my class. We had two students get killed, I want to say it was my third year in a car accident. And so those are the things that I think changed our culture more. But in terms of our, our culture about being concerned about the community, that really changed after um, Sandy Hook. So this wasn't as much of a problem as the external things that came out of it. The rareness and the bizarreness of it, I think made the case stick out. It's amazing to me. I mean, like I said, I taught at MPS for five years. I was at an alternative school for two years. And, you know, all sorts of stuff happened at MPS. I've got some really great fight stories from there. But I had family calling me from across the country to ask about the ninja. And I'm like, seriously? Yeah, it kind of put us on the map in ways that I'm not sure that either we or the greater martial arts community really appreciated. It was, I want to say it was like something that I'll never forget. I mean, it's something that I kind of will always hold with me. It didn't really, you know, make me scared for the rest of high school or anything like that, but it did just kind of make me more aware of what was going around going on around me, which was good. And honestly, I didn't forget about it, but I kind of, you know, it's kind of in the back of your mind. And yeah. Yeah, when you guys brought it up, I'm like, oh my God, that didn't happen. <laughs> oh my God.